welcome back to another adventure. I'm super stoked today because we're exploring a new area. And yes, if I sound froggy, I just got over a big head cold. I mean, it was thick and crusty and congestion and nasty and phlegm and mucus. Anyways, it was nasty. Sorry, you probably didn't need to know all that information. But yeah, my voice still hasn't came back. I got a lot of drainage right there. And so, definitely froggy. But anyways, makes me sound a lot tougher, I know. But uh, we're exploring a new area. We're on Cajun Creek, but this creek is so long and I love it. There's just so many holes and so many places yet to be discovered. So uh, it's real close to my house. And, you know, when I'm not feeling good, I really should be home recovering in bed probably. Uh, I was like, well, I'm going to spend a couple hours just kind of explore a new area and see what it's all about. The creek's not moving that fast today. So I'm like, well, I'll put in at a bridge paddle downstream a little bit where I feel like I can paddle back up from and so that's what we're doing we uh, just put in at one spot we're gonna try to get back to that spot so wish me luck on that one so that's what we're gonna throw today um, we're just gonna explore this new area look for some deep holes some holes that produce this big fish we only have a few hours to do it in um, but it's just a beautiful day it's a warm day we got a front moving through the state here soon it's going to drop the temperatures back to the 20s so I decided to just give it a full send before the weather gets nasty again and we'll get that dry suit out. So wish me luck and uh, hopefully we'll catch a big one today. Fish on, fish on. Got a fish. Oh, there's a coyote. Well, it's been a grind. This fish is super cold. Um, the water's really, really cold, but it is warmer outside, but these fish are freezing. But anyways, I just caught this, uh, little Kentucky. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. Thanks, little buddy, for keeping the skunk out of the boat. There's a fish. Oh, feels like a good one. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. That's a nice. That's a nice one. Damn, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a nice one. Oh, baby. Yeah. I just caught a nice bass on the caterpillar. Oh yeah. Cardoza sent me a package of these and some other baits. And uh, I thought I'd give it a try. And I've caught a fish on this before on Cadron Creek, but uh, it was a little fish and I was actually swimming it. So you can swim it or drag it. And uh, this is called the green apple color. And I have it on a Z-Man shroom head weedless net hook. And it just got me a nice bass. I just caught that one on the demon. Now I just caught this baby. <laughs> I'm thinking at least three. This fish is so cold. I'm gonna get the scale out, give it a little measure, and then uh, we'll let her go. 3.3, .3. locked in at 3.3. .3. Really, really nice fish, big old belly. Look at that fish. And uh, you know, they're getting close to spawn. So it's a perfect catch this time of year. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a picture and uh, let her back in the water where she belongs. Three and three ounces. Woo! As soon as it started swimming, I knew it was a nice one. It was just dogging me the whole time. Well, right about here where this uh, creek is coming out, this is about my stopping point. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work back upstream. Um, it starts to pick up real swift through here and it's shallow which I could walk it out, but uh, right down there, sounds like there's some rapids. So it's gonna be pretty challenging to get back upstream through here if I go any further down. But anyways, this is a good uh, stopping point. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat. I got a peanut butter sandwich, some Doritos, and uh, we're gonna eat real quick and then start paddling upstream and uh, work that hole again where I caught that three pounder at. Shout out to James and H2 for Outdoors for this awesome back seat. So uh, I got kayak cushion all over this crescent light tackle seat and it is super cozy.
We made it to the bridge. Uh, I'm about to get out of my kayak and uh, tow it one more area. Just some uh, little shallow rapids here. Anyways, uh, it wasn't too bad paddling back upstream, especially in this crescent light tackle. Uh, it was so easy and cutting through the water like butter. But uh, there was a couple spots where I felt like I was on a treadmill for a minute there just because the current was so fast and uh, I'm kind of weak and puny right now. But anyways, like I said, I only had a couple of hours to really explore. I really uh, threw more crankbaits than anything, really trying to search out fish, try to, you know, speed up the process, especially with my small window of time. But uh, once I grabbed that uh, caterpillar, it started really dragging and working it a little bit. Uh, I caught that big three pounder. I think if I would have stuck with it all day, I definitely would have got a few more in the boat. But it's that time of year. Uh, two days ago, we had a sleet storm. Today, it's 50 degrees. So it's just, it is what it is. It's Arkansas weather for you. I'm sure you saw through the B row, there's still some snow patches along the shoreline. So it's pretty crazy. The water is ice cold though. So uh, I really think it was a day where I should have just drugged the whole time. But with only a few hours to explore a new area, I really didn't have time to drag the whole time. So anyways, we had a good time. Um, I'm definitely gonna do this section in full. Uh, I got down to that one curve where that creek was coming into the main creek, and I just couldn't go past that without really struggling to get back upstream. So I probably only explored, I would say, about a mile, mile and a half. Um, it didn't take me too long to get back up to my uh, car here, so about 30 minute paddle upstream, so I really didn't explore that much. Um, but anyways, this section right here is awesome. So uh, here in a couple months, I'm definitely gonna explore this further down. Uh, there's another bridge, I don't really know, it's not marked how many miles it is between this bridge and the next. So I wanna wait till the spring where I have a little bit more daylight to really explore this section and not get stuck in the dark anywhere. So anyways, thanks for watching. I know it wasn't much, but uh, it's just that time of year where you're not gonna catch many fish, but maybe some quality fish. So here the next few weeks, hopefully we uh, get well and get back on the water and catch some numbers. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next adventure.